how to create a guitar or keyboard part. Okay, here's my arrangement so far. I want to create a keyboard part. It's going to be a mixture of slash chords, stopping and starting points, and melodic and rhythmic indications. So, let's start with some slash chords. I'm going to start by putting in four crotchet Bs in the middle of the stave. Like that. Escape. Select the bar. And uh, I've already got this window open. It's here. Window properties. And you click there. This window opens. And if this is closed when you open it, just click the notes tab. And you can see you've got a wide selection of notes. We're going to select option 3 and they turn into slash chords. And now we're going to repeat these. I could copy and paste them, but that takes a bit of time. So quicker is just to press R R for repeat. And repeat and press it as fast as you like until you get towards the end of the tune. And then I always do that. I go too far. So I just command Z a few times until I get back to where I'm supposed to be scroll back to the beginning of the tune again now I need some chord symbols and you'll remember from an earlier tutorial that if I double click and go to edit filter chord symbols I'm left with just the chords to copy so I copy those select the first bar of the piano and paste that's great that's looking good now then here Let's see. I want the piano to stop with the hits that the trumpet and the tenor are doing. So I'm going to select, well, let's say the trumpet. And uh, But I only want these two notes. So I'm going to copy those. Edit, copy. And I'm going to select the same point, starting point in the piano part. I'm going to paste those. That's great. Now, I don't really want that. I want that to be really a G. So I'm going to just make that naturalize it. And also, I don't necessarily want the piano player just to play a G. I want him to play the chord of G minor. So I'm just going to change those to a cross note head, which kind of implies that it's not specifically that note, but it's the chord of G minor. I don't want him to play in this bar, so I'll just delete that. Now later on I have a similar instance where I have him where I have one bum ba da ba to finish off the head arrangement. So again I'm gonna take that bar of trumpet, I'm gonna copy it, select the same bar in the piano, paste it. Now I do want the piano player to play that. Actually what I'd really like for him to do is to play that part as well, the sixth lower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the whole bar and I'm going to press shift six. If I just press six it would go up the octave a sixth, but I'm shift six it's down the octave. So now I'm telling the piano player what to play and it's identical to the trumpet and the tenor together. And I'm also going to delete that bar so that he knows not to play there. That's it. That's the piano part. Guitar part I'm going to leave pretty much the same as the piano part. So I'll just copy it. The whole piano part. Copy. And paste. Great. Now then, the only thing with this particular operation is that, as you can see, the slash chord markings are above the stave, which is a bit, bit ugly, but not, not, not the easiest thing to do. They look much better here. You, so I need to put these down the octave. It's because the guitar is a, a transposing instrument and transposes up an octave. So let's just turn everything back into note heads, and let's take everything down the octave. To do that I press Apple or Command key and the down arrow. See how it transposes everything down. 
and then I'm going to turn it back into slash chords which is great except you'll notice this last bar has also become slash chords so I'll change that back to note heads in fact yeah that's right and then there was another point you remember halfway through the arrangement here these two I'll select those and turn those into the cross note heads lovely now everyone's happy everyone knows where to stop and where to start and what chords to play that's it find out more at susanmusic.co.uk